Welcome crew to Apple Insider, it is Andrew here. Sorry we're a little late with this beta video, but this experience was so cool with the new HomePod Mini that I just had to still show it off to all of you guys. So that's right, in this video we're talking about everything new in iOS 14.4. It was just released as the first developer beta, and likely today, if you're watching the video at launch, the first public beta will be released too, if it hasn't already. So what we're gonna see in this beta, we're gonna talk about a couple of the new changes and a couple of things that may break your heart, but let's go ahead and dive right into it. Starting off with some of the little smaller characteristics and changes before we get to the big fun one. So smaller changes that we're gonna see inside of shortcuts with iOS 13.3, Apple made a very nice change, which again brought back the ability to set the wallpaper on your lock screen or your home screen. And in 14.4, Apple is taking it even further. They're improving this experience by allowing you to set the perspective zoom on or off as a toggle in any of those workflows. So if you create a shortcut that sets your home screen to a certain picture when you run it, so you have an input, it sets your home screen wallpaper, now you can have it toggle on and off whether or not you are using perspective zoom. The 14.4 update also brings a new feature for voiceover users. This is a new accessibility feature called a direct touch that will allow voiceover users to interact with an app directly without requiring more interaction. Now in our testing, when we toggle this on the settings, it actually doesn't stick. So it doesn't seem like it's fully functioning here in the first beta, but of course in the next beta, if it is updated, we'll of course include that in our next video. So one thing that was not included again in this first beta, and this is the part that's gonna break a few of your hearts out there, and that is there are still no support for the PS5 DualSense controllers and assumingly the updated Xbox controllers either. This support is unequivocally coming. We've already seen the code of Apple working on it. Apple has already promised that it is working on it. It's just not in this beta. We were really hoping to see it in this beta because we thought it was gonna be in 13.3, but it doesn't appear so far in 14.3 in 14, versus 14.4. So still no support for DualSense controllers in the updated iOS. Now, the release of this update, we are expecting this update to come out very soon. Apple has promised this new handoff experience with the HomePod mini based around the U1 chip before the end of the year. And based on what we're seeing, that is entirely possible because there's not a lot of changes in this update. We talked about that minor update to shortcuts, but the big bulk of what's changed is that improved handoff experience here. So let's go ahead and demo that, show you how this differs from the standard HomePod uh, handoff experience and why this new one is just really, really cool. So let's talk about the handoff experience as it is now with 14.3 and earlier on both the HomePod mini and the regular HomePod. So essentially what happens, you bring your phone closer and then you'll see a tiny little card at the top of the screen saying it's handing off. You'll feel a little bit of taptic feedback as your phone kind of taps you and then it'll go ahead and move the audio to your HomePod or your HomePod mini. You move your phone away, you bring your phone closer again, it'll again pass it back over to your device. It's pretty simple, works fairly well. You gotta get the tapping right, but it works fairly well. But the HomePod mini really should have a better handoff experience and Apple promised just that. Now the HomePod mini has Apple's U1 chip. That's their ultra wideband chip. And an ultra wideband chip is able to very accurately, dis very accurately track the location of another ultra wideband enabled device. In this case, our iPhone 12 here. So what happens is as we bring our phone closer to the HomePod mini, a few things start to happen. Now, I do have music playing on my phone, but because I don't want to pay licensing rights to play a song in the middle of our video, we're just gonna leave that pretty down low. So as I move my phone closer to the HomePod mini, the light on top of HomePod mini will get brighter and brighter as my phone moves closer. And at the same time, I'm getting haptic feedback on my phone. My phone is vibrating more and more and more the closer that I get to HomePod. It becomes more intense the closer that I get. And as soon as I get close enough to actually initiate the handoff of the song, it's going to go ahead and pop from a tiny little banner at the top of my phone, which is what it shows as I'm further away. It'll go ahead and pop into a full screen card that gives me a bunch of information, including album art, airplay options to reroute audio, and more. So it's a really 
very much improved user experience in terms of handoff to the new HomePod mini. You can see how much better this looks and I can tell you how much better it feels just doing that handoff process. It feels more accurate. It's far more accurate in terms of actually doing the handoff experience. Like it, with a regular one, it gets kind of funky, but with the U1 chip, it works so much smoother. Look at that. You can just see, hopefully you can see kind of on camera that light getting closer and then the full screen control popping up here on my iPhone as soon as I actually do initiate that handoff. So that pretty much covers it in iOS 14.4. 14.3 was just released, but it seems like 14.4 could still make it out before the end of the year. That is when Apple promised this new HomePod handoff experience to come before the end of the year. So unless Apple changes its verbiage around that and promises it at a later date, we could still see this in a week or two with limited betas. Now, right now, it is still fairly buggy. Not all the times do I get a proper handoff experience and sometimes the cards don't look correct and there's definitely issues with it as it stands. But it, by the time this is released, hopefully everything is polished up nicely. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to Apple Insider for further coverage of Apple's latest betas. And I'll check you guys on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, We'll see you later.